Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates. I am Adana Kombi and we continue our celebration. As you've heard our last interview with our technical advisor, <laughs> um, we are on Amplia 102. Uh, we're continuing today with our interviews and of course we have our friend in studio, none other than Sergeant Joseph Jordan, who is going to give us our regular weekly updates, as well as we're going to talk about road traffic accidents as a result of dangerous driving. Welcome to the program, sir. Again, good morning. How are you? How are things? Good morning to you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having the Trans Tobago Police Service. Good morning to Tobago and your additional viewers. So I want to, I want to extend this opportunity to, to, uh, to say that it's a wonderful experience to have an additional media house on the air. And coming from Tobago, it's welcoming. And more importantly, you all have included the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, Tobago Division. So I must give you all kudos for that. And we look forward to better and greater things. Yes, yes. So tell us, what has been happening on the island of Tobago? What happened over the weekend? What reports you have for us this morning? All right, so our usual updates. Um, the weekend, although we are still considered into the weekend, um, Tobago has been relatively quiet. Um, for the weekend, we had some... Um, entertainment, some events going on, incident-free. Um, last week, though, we did have some incidents of robberies that took place in the Scarborough and Crown Point District. And those, Crown Point and Chauvin District, to be precise, and, and those, those robberies, they were basically targeted mini-marts mm -hmm. along those paths. So we want to ask person, business personnel to be a little more vigilant. Um, most persons try their best because at the end of the day, we need to understand that we don't know what's in a man's mind. However, we can still try and do whatever preventative measures that we can, be vigilant, be alert, to avoid any of these unforeseen incidents. As relates to our statistics for the Tobago Division, right, the Tobago Division continues to see a reduction in our serious report crimes. And that is one good thing that has been going on, for, for uh, as a matter of fact, for the last two years. So. As we stand, when we compare our, our data between 2022 and 2023, and we're looking at the period January 1st to June 10th, we would have recorded 368 SRCs or serious report crimes in 2022. Whilst in 2023, we are now recording 266. So which would have a great decrease and shows a approximately a 28% decrease in SRCs in Tobago Division. And that's an overall as it, as it relates. Now, we do have the challenge of murder. I'm not going to leave out murders. Um, although murders form part of our SRCs, because of its severity, we tend to put it out of this, this stack and speak about it. So for that same comparative period, we would have recorded four murders as compared to seven in 2023. So we have shown a significant increase, increase. in murders. We're talking at something like around 75 percent. All right. Continuing along our parts of our troubling statistics, general larceny continue to be a problem. Sexual offences, as well as break-ins, those continue to plague our our island. Despite we may have had some decreases in them, it still turns out to be a very prevalent thing. As a we as a matter of fact, I can even look at. The last time released of vehicles. The numbers may seem insignificant, but last year we had zero. Hmm. This year we are two. So despite the minimal increase is something that needs to be warranted. And um, considering our mainstream media we, and the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service had recently put out where with um, approximately a, over 100 vehicles have been stolen per day, per, sorry, per month in Trinidad and Tobago. And, and that is quite alarming. And the, the, the noted vehicles that are being taken, the Tida, Nissan Tida, the Toyota Aqua, um, some of these H100 vans. So it is something that is quite noticeable. Despite this in our sister Isle Trinidad, we still have to be mindful as to what takes place in Tobago. So we want to encourage person to be vigilant. Um, let us put the necessary safety devices or mechanism in our vehicles, alarms, tracking devices if necessary, so that we can protect our property. As it relates to property, as business place, places, we still encourage you all, proper lighting, closed circuit television, 
dogs, whatever security measures you can put in place. Do not, as I would often say, do not think, do not consider making all the money and you're not securing your, your premises. So those are some of the areas we want to look at. I, I know that it is important for us to um, be responsible to secure our um, properties, but I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> we want to make the money, yes, we don't want to spend it all on security. Mm -hmm. But what is, the, what is in place, what does the TTPS have in place to support proprietors in, in terms of protecting their property? I mean, apart from you're doing your own purchasing your cameras, mm -hmm. and for, especially for residential, what are we doing? How are, how are we advising people? And what is the support the TTPS is lending to proprietors to secure their properties? All right, excellent. Now, we continue to do our basic policing, right? For trolls. We have gone over the years, we have gone further where we have community meetings or town meetings, station council meetings. Those are a number of strategies we would have devised, and that incorporates the business communities, the residential personnel, as well as the police working together to identify some of the challenges that may exist within our villages and our communities. We do walkabouts. And by that, we have officers from various station districts. Sometimes we do a collaborative effort where we would walk the streets, talk to the business personnel, look at, talk to the residential personnel. Sometimes look at structures and say, all right, you realize that you have louvers. Should you, you should consider burglar proofing or an improve improved windows. So we continue to interact with our with our community as a means of identifying some of the shortcoming comments that we may see while Sunday's patrol. And it's important that we when we say patrol, our patrol is as we often say, is not a drive by. It is a it is a patrol where we encourage our officers to interact. Yes, interaction so, is important. Because when you interact you can identify some of the shortcomings. And as a result, even out of these community meetings or station council meetings that we often have. A simple thing like a, a street light, a blown street light can be identified. So with, within the resources, we can communicate with T and Tech to suggest that this street area is dark and you can assist with lighting. And before we wrap up, we, we really want to mm -hmm. touch on road traffic accidents mm -hmm. by dangerous driving, right? So let's give us a little overview on that and where we're heading and stuff like that. All right. So a more or less a continuation of last last mm -hmm. time yes. and we, we would went on to talk about dangerous driving. Um now for, for we know time is a little challenge, but when we speak about dangerous driving, we refer to our road traffic and motor vehicle at 4850 and we look at section 71 and 71 1 and this this refers to the, the penalty on indictment as relates to persons being convicted of dangerous driving and that person can be submitted to a jail term of 15 years. And what, outside of that, what deems somebody to be, or to cause death by dangerous driving, it is basically saying that the reasonable man, the competent driver, op operating outside of character, and we talk about a competent driver as a person who have gone through the licensing authority, issued, and not purchased, issued a driver's permit for the class of vehicle mm -hmm. that they are entitled to, or capable of driving. So within this, the, the simple scope of that, what we're basically saying is that you being a competent and capable driver, we don't expect you to overtake a lane of traffic and run into another vehicle. That is, that is where the danger of... Um, Overtaking over around a corner. corner the, that is where the dangerous like driving comes in. And that in itself is an, it's a summary offense. And that can land you with a fine of $10,000 and to imprisonment for five years. So this, these are some of the things that we had to look at. And in the future, we will expatiate on dangerous yes, driving. We have, on our next program, we want to talk some more about this. We want to get into Certainly. You know, the safety in, road, um, in driving on the road and stuff like that, and more, and more about the penalties and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have with Sergeant Jordan this morning. Thank you so much for the updates that you've brought to us and the education that you are giving us in terms of road safety and protecting our property. We are going to go to a break before our next guest comes. But before we go, we want to encourage you to share the live, share the live, share the live.